Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Monday night, the Mets opened a series in San Francisco and posted their second straight shutout win as they beat the Giants 3 0. A scoreless game till the ninth. John Nee says never been better. Boy, starting pitching has just been so great for the Mets. You don't get to this point in the ballgame unless you get the eight shutout innings for Nice. I thought it was the best game he's had all season long, mixing up his pitches and keeping the pitch count down. That allowed him to go through eight innings. Well, we executed the game plan. I think uh, we knew coming in the game that they were going to be aggressive. And, um, you know, the plan was to uh, pound the bottom of the zone with all, all the pitches, and uh, we were able to do that today. That cutter was his bread and butter today, and being able to flip some breaking balls in there, but, you know, just being able to pick up, pick apart that lineup with the cutter, and he was throwing it on both sides of the plate and did a great job today. He's pitched very, very well lately, and, you know, has not just come up short, but, you know, another, another tremendous outing by him tonight. So uh, we're, we're glad we scored some runs for him for a change. First win in nearly two months for Nice, and the Mets finally scored for him in the ninth inning, and it was Johnny Manel, the former San Francisco Giant, who came through with the big hit. Well, I kind of knew he was going to throw the first pitch slider just because that's Casilla. We were running to scoring position and just took a bad swing on it, and he hung one in his own and followed it off, and he tried to elevate the fastball on me. And 3-2 had to come over the plate. Didn't want to really walk the bases all over Duda on deck, so you know, I was just fortunate enough to get a good pitch to hit and put it in the corner and drive in two. I mean, you face your old, you face a team that, you know, you played with at one time and, you know, you're not with them anymore, no matter if, what it was or let you left free agency or whatever it was. You always think, you know, you want to, you know, you want to show them they made a mistake. And so there's always a little adrenaline, yeah. Crawford, Belt, <coughs> Cheston, uh, Petit, Petit, Conta, everybody, almost the whole team. Uh, have some good friends over there, good relationships. And, you know, that was my years with the Giants, so. You know, just good seeing those guys and some of the coaches, but at the end of the day, you got a job to do. You know, what's interesting is that you don't usually see the backup catcher getting two starts in a row, and kind of Terry Collins rolled the dice with Monell tonight against his old roommate, uh, Chris Heston, but he didn't get any hits off Heston, but he got the big hit uh, there in the ninth inning as the Mets scored three. Kadire on an 0-2 pitch, gets a base hit. Neuenheis, uh, who needed a hit so badly, had two walks and a, a double in this ball game, um, and a great game for the Mets. Kirk Neuenheis just back to the Mets after two months away, able to contribute tonight. So the Mets now 3-1 and one on this West Coast road trip. They'll try and keep it going on Tuesday night with Bartolo Colon on the mound against Matt Cain. Our coverage begins with Cadillac first pitch at 9 o'clock Tuesday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.